Hey knitters, it's Monday, and I think I've pottered myself into a coma. So last week, Harry Potter week of awesome, was indeed awesome. Um, the midnight showing... Okay, first of all, let me start off by saying I love the movie. Disclaimer, I thought it was great. It's probably one of the best ones so far. I don't quite think it's my favorite. I still love Prisoner of Azkaban. It will always have a special place in my heart. Um, but it was really good. Um, but the midnight showing was super fun. Because Michael was there, which was fun. I didn't see him very much, but you pretty much saw when I saw him. Um, and I went to see him before the movie started to wish him a happy movie. Um, but midnight showings are always better than, like, seeing it regularly. Because everyone in the theater understands, like, they laugh at the funny parts that are, like, legitimately funny or ridiculous, and sometimes they'll shout out really hilarious things, which, in any other circumstance, it would be totally annoying, but at a midnight showing, it's just cool. And, um, I once, I got some posters, they were giving out little posters in line, like this one. I got this one last year, or at the last movie, um, and so I got one like that for... Haplet Prince, and then my friend Beth also got to the second round of the costume contest, and she won a giant poster, um, and she gave it to me, because she didn't have anywhere in her house to put it, so that was super awesome. Thank you again, Beth. Um, but generally, my thoughts on the movie were that it, the whole movie, like, everything, almost everything, up to, like, the part where Harry goes, okay, spoiler alert, did I say that? Spoilers. Nah, stop watching if you haven't seen it. Everything up to the part where Harry goes back to the castle to see Dumbledore's dead body after he, like, confronts Snape, suck. Everything. Like, there was no funeral. Ron is, like, sitting in a corner all shunned while Harry and Hermione are talking. I just, the end was really disappointing, so when I left the theater, I was thinking that I hated it. Just because I thought the end was so bad. It just left you with nothing. Um, but then I started thinking about it. And the rest of the movie was really, really good. Like, the actors, they can finally act. Dan Radcliffe can finally act. I don't know when that happened, um, but it was a good thing, for sure. Um, like, the, the pincers, that was the funniest part of the entire movie. I lolled so hard. I also thought Draco was amazing, Tom Felton. That was a great job. Neville, I'm a little upset that he only got, like, two lines, if that. But he looks so cute in his little waiter uniform, and I just love Neville. He will always have a special heart place in my heart as well. Um, I thought Slughorn was great. Um, he wasn't exactly how I pictured him, but he was spot on at doing the character. And I think m the most emotional part of the movie for me was when he was talking about um, the lily flower that turned into the fish. Um, that made me more emotional than Dumbledore's death, because... In the movies, there has been no build-up of the relationship between Dumbledore and Harry. Like, they tried to shove it on in this movie, but you didn't get any of that. You didn't really understand the relationship. And so when Dumbledore died, you were just kind of like, Oh, that sucks. His principal died. That would be horrible. But you don't, like, feel it. Like, you, we all know how it felt when we read Half-Lit Prince and Dumbledore died. And everyone was just shocked, if you didn't get spoiled, of course. And it just, like, it was hurtful, like... You really cared about Dumbledore, but in the movie, I don't think um, that really came across as much. But, like I said, I thought it was a great movie. Ron's love potion scenes, and just Ron in general. I love Ron, and I thought Rupert outdid himself this time. And Weasley's Wizard Weasley's was so cool. And really, there's just so many parts of the movie that I liked um, that it's hard to mention them all until the end. So yeah, I'm going to stop talking about the movie now because I've been rambling a long time and I have to talk about knitting and stuff. So yeah. Um, I knit this this week. It's called a Tribble. Star Trek reference for the win. Um, and it's like just a little scrubby. Like for dishes or whatever. Um, and I knit it up in like one night. And it was awesome. I really like it. I'm probably going to make a lot more of these for like Christmas presents for my family and stuff. Um, they're really fun. The pattern is on Ravelry for free, if you would like to knit your own Tribble. Um, I'm also been working on that shrug, which I forgot to bring up again, so you guys can't see it. Um, but I've messed up a couple times, but I don't really care. Because, like, I think knitting is o it's okay for knitting to look like it was knit by a human. 
So I just, I couldn't figure out what I did wrong, so I just went with it. Um, also, I was at this, like, living history site that we have in town here yesterday, and I bought a drop spindle and some wool roving. So I'm going to try spinning. I think my drop spindle does not have all the parts that it needs to have, which is unfortunate. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try spinning, and then hopefully I will dye what I make with Kool-Aid or something fun like that. Um, I've also been getting stuff for my slop buddy, which I have in a bag right over here, but I can't show it to you because the person who is getting it would probably know right away. Um, but needless to say, I'm really excited about it. Um, so yeah, slop is awesome.